Alright guys, this is our new bike we made. Let me tell you about it. It's an electric 2x2 snow swamp walker. The main thing about this bike is its pneumatic wheels. They're low pressure wheels with large diameter and this makes them very passable. But you shouldn't be bothered by the fact that there are no tire threads. This is actually the whole point. In the following videos you will see that, unlike quad wheels, these don't get stuck anywhere. And they can go just about everywhere. This is because those wheels with tire threads typically skid and they get stuck most of the time. So they're not as nearly as passable as our wheels. Alright, so our bike has two motors in the front and in the back. This is where the battery is and a charger. And so because this is an off-road long travel vehicle to get you to distant places, this is why we came up with a solution of installing this kind of generator here. It can produce energy on the go. At the same time, powering up the battery through the charger. So this is why when we move across mild off-road terrain it can provide enough power to make sure you go without stopping. Basically this way you are only limited by the amount of fuel you have with you on a trip. You can carry fuel in these 5 liter canisters. Here we have aluminum discs over here. They're hollow and there are holes there where you can also put the fuel to later tank up the generator so there's quite enough gas storage capacity you can carry enough to power up the generator now if you're not planning on going anywhere far then you can simply detach the generator it's pretty light only 10 kilos yeah, and you're free to go. Later we want to make it possible to add a battery instead of this generator. But if you're going far, then you should definitely take the generator. Fix it there with a special rubber strap. And it sits there nicely. There we go. Then you plug the cord, start it, and off you go. And you get your battery charged right on the fly. Now about the battery. It's 48 volt, 35 ampere hours. It will last you about 40 to 50 kilometers. With generator, it's practically unlimited charge. The charger is built right in. It is sealed no water can get in there. It keeps it warm inside also. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery. And unlike lithium iron battery, it allows you to use it during winter and get it charged up when it's cold outside. The charger is pretty powerful too. 48 volt, 35 ampere current. So you can practically get a full charge in just about an hour. If you charge through this 800 watt generator, it switches to 12 ampere mode and it makes the battery go continuously. Okay, 
Now about this socket here. So this battery has a built-in inverter. 3 kilowatt inverter that gives you 110, 120 volt of AC from the 48 volt current. This makes it possible for you to charge up any power tool when you're far away from home somewhere. Any electric power tool you may require at one point or another. Basically, when you go on a distant journey, you always carry a mini power station that will provide you with enough energy and light, even without the generator. Okay, what else? There is a 12 volt charger here to power up compressor, 5 volt USB plug, all those good things. Now, apart from being extremely passable in itself, this bike can also swim. Wheels have positive buoyancy, so if you just put it in the water, it will never sink, even with a person sitting on it. However, it needs to remain in a vertical position to swim across water. So let me show you something now. We have holders on the trunk here. So we take these holders and we put them in the special slots here. From this side and from the other side. Then we take a special kind of balloon. Here it is. And this compressor. You can use any kind of compressor, really. You plug it here, and it's going to work. So we take this balloon and we fix it on these holders, like so. It takes about five minutes to prepare the bike for water. Okay, now let's just go ahead and pump it up. You just do it from one side and then from the other, and after that, you sit on the bike and you're ready to enter the water surface. So these balloons make it possible for the bike to remain in a vertical position. You go across, get off the bike, deflate those balloons and put them away. After that, you can go ahead and twist off the holders and fix them back on the trunk. Like so. And there you go. Now you're ready to move on land again. Now, once again, about the components. So those holders are fixed on the trunk over here. Then these canisters can be fixed on both sides of the trunk, here and there. There's a compressor socket over here. USB charger for your electric devices. Here are the brakes, computer interface, on and off button for all wheel drive, rare drive works best off-road, allows you to save battery life. I already told you about the wheels, 
Suspension is very, very soft. So are the wheels. Goes very smoothly indeed. There's also a trunk in the front made with aluminum round tube frame. Two LED lights in the front and one in the back. So this is pretty much it for the specs. As you know, the most famous broken type of bike that's been in the making for 50 years now. It is indeed very much known in the world. And let me tell you that our bike actually shows better performance off-road. It's much more passable. It can take you across water. And you don't even need to get it off the bike and walk near it, getting yourself wet. These wheels will make it move in the water. And you can just sit on top of it. We'll make a few water tests and show them to you. These wheels allow you to go through very deep snow without getting stuck. It also lets you go across swamps, all types of terrain, any kind of stumps, sticks, driftwood it can handle. There's a double tube there, the one that gets pumped, and the outer one for protection. What's also good is that you have a mobile electro station right at hand at all times. That gives you access to both types of current that will power up all of your devices. Your power tools, cameras, laptops, anything. And like I said before, you can go as far as you like with this generator. And so the main difference with the regular Rockon type of bike is that Rockon has a gas engine and it's very loud. This one is almost silent. And some people value this a lot. The fact that you can move very quietly through the forest. And the thing about Rockon is that it costs eight to ten thousand dollars. And this bike only costs two, including all the equipment I showed you in this video. Alright, let's go and see what this bike can do. <laughs> 